Hello, I'm Jay Hidley from the Coaching Room. How are you doing on this on this uh, historical Sunday? Uh, with the calling of the election uh, by Joe Biden I, today, I thought I'd spend some time uh, going through the different stages of political views uh, and different stages of human development, which is the real division. Uh, the division isn't between the people in America or around the world politically. The division is a stage structure division. And so I'm taking the time today to take you through the core uh, six stage structures so that you can see how divisions are created um, within uh, the political field, as well as families, communities, etc. Give you a little bit more information as to what's really going on behind the content. And so I'm going to open up a PowerPoint slide and you'll be able to see that now. Um, and so uh, political stage structures are also stages of leadership maturity. And um, so let's have a look at Ken Wilber's model from integral theory. Uh, integral theory is the study of um, uh, the merge between Western psychology and Eastern philosophy. Uh, and Ken sought to pull together the field of um, uh, uh, developmental psychology into one single model. And so he did that, if we look across here in the different uh, lines, you've got a cognitive line, which is uh, by Piaget and Arabindo. You've got a values systems line by Claire Graves, uh, and that's the sp spiral dynamics um, uh, process. You've got Robert Keegan's Orders of Consciousness. You've got uh, Lovinger and Suzanne Cook Greuter's uh, Identity. You've got Gebser's Worldviews, and you've got Fowler's Stages of Faith. You can also add to that Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs, uh, which is really a hierarchy of motivation. These are lines of intelligence. And so our lines of intelligence, as we mature as, as uh, mature adults, as we go past adolescence, we don't stop growing. We continue to grow, and what's growing is our worldview, our capacity to see from more and more perspectives at a glance. And that goes on right until our death. And so, um, so you can see here on, on the, on the left-hand side, uh, you've got uh, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 different stages of development a human being can grow through. What we're seeing in America at the moment is actually the stage structure argument between here, amber on the left hand side, orange and green. So you can see it's right in the middle of the first tier, that line there denotes first and then second. And so first tier to second tier to third tier consciousness. And so that simply means that our worldview grows through different stages of consciousness. We're able to take in more and more. That doesn't mean it's a hierarchy. It's not a hierarchy. It's called a holarchy. And a holarchy means that each stage transcends and includes the previous stage. So no stage is better than another. It's a bit like climbing a ladder. And so if you climb a ladder, no rung is better than other. It just gives you a, a different view. And so it is with the stage structures. At the moment, we've got a, a, a literal a civil war going on between stage structures of amber and orange and amber and green and orange and green. And so, and so those, are, those are worldview clashes. Um, amber is second person perspective, orange is third person perspective, and green is fourth person perspective. So this is a perspectives clash. And so I'm going to walk you through the different stages of development from red through to teal. Uh, that is uh, first person through to fifth person. And I'm going to describe the different approaches of that worldview, uh, how they make meaning, how they construct and apply meaning and how that meaning plays out in the decisions that they make. So bear with me. So let's start with the red stage. So uh, Kim Jong uh, Il, uh, Il is an, and Un <laughs> are uh, at, at the red stage of, uh, the, of values. This represents about 5% of the population who are above the age of 21. 
And so red, the red stage of development is first person perspective. That means me, I, my. I've got my view. This is how I do things. Uh, and, and you will follow me. So that is, that is part of the might is right uh, approach from this stage of development. So this is power led. This is all about power. This whole stage is about my power and how I can impose it. It's also the stage structure of about an eight year old child. This is when a seven to eight year old child begins to push back uh, against their parents and start saying, me, my, I want, I want to do this. I want to go there. And so it's actually a healthy stage of development. It's just that when a human being doesn't grow past this and yet their body matures into their twenties and thirties and even forties, then, then they're holding on to a child stage structure. So it's about strength. You'll hear, you'll hear the value systems of loyalty being used for this, this stage structure and supremacy. It's a win at all costs. Failure is not an option. Followership is absolutely demanded and leadership occurs by threat. And so very few leaders are, are stuck in this stage structure. Most leaders, even Donald Trump, has surpassed this well and truly. So let's jump on to the next one. Uh, sorry, uh, so tips, tips for reading, uh, leading red individuals or teams. So um, uh, uh, attention to their specific needs. It's all about them, remember? Uh, and that's how they make the meaning. It's all about me. It doesn't make them selfish. They can't see any, any further worldviews. They seem to be, they need to be seen to be looked after by others. They need to be seen to be appreciated and looked after, made to look good, given their specific, give them specific tasks to their skill sets, tell them what to do it and how to do it, give them really clear expectations, direct, direct orders are required for this stage structure, and recognition is reward, seen and noticed for their actions. Developmental fo focus on opportunity opportunistic outcomes for them specifically, individually, not collectively. The, this stage structure cannot see collective. It does not value collective, co collectivity. The next stage is the amber stage. And this is, this is a different drive. We've gone from the power drive now into the truth drive. And so you'll see I've got the picture of the Donald there. Um, and so this is, this is where his core stage structure is, second person perspective. It's about our truth, the club. And so the boys club, the, 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 the soccer club, the rugby club, um, the baseball club, um, this is about dependency. And our truth becomes the truth. Uh, this stage structure is, is built on beliefs. Uh, and so it doesn't require fact it doesn't require measurability it doesn't require uh, logics it doesn't require those things uh, the logic is created from a belief set and so and so we've seen uh, the donald really um, um, uh, uh, pedal out a lot of uh, this belief stuff around coronavirus around it's going to go away in april uh, it, you know, it, 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 it's, it's magically going to go away when that's just a belief. It's not science. And so this is a pre-science stage. That's why the Donald struggles so much with, with science structure, because they don't fit his uh, beliefs. They don't fit his worldview. And so this is a black and white worldview. And, you know, we're about getting that right. And so uh, I believe that it's black or I believe that it's white. It's also uh, either or thinking, either it's this or it's that, either you're with me or against me. As us against them, and we're really seeing this, uh, 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 you know, divide people at this stage of development are, are divided away from other stage structures. This stage absolutely hates all other stage structures, except the previous one before it, which they will tolerate. And, and you're going to see in the, in the red stage of development, white supremacy and supremacists and, 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 and organizations like that who are still stuck. This will tolerate that if, it, if, if that fits with, uh, you know, this worldview, if that fits with the content of this worldview. And so the high, this is where hierarchy starts. The hierarchy is justified. Respect is absolute king. Believe or get out. 
yeah? Our way is the right way, and it's about belonging. The truth drive is about finding my truth. And so this stage of development is also uh, at the stage of development for fundam fundamentalist religions, for example, where, where it's all about belief structures. Yeah? At the next stage, which is the orange stage, third person perspective, really belief starts to die. So tips for leading amber individuals or teams, a professional conformist approach is right for them. Reference to your experience are vital. They want to hear about what you believe and what you think and, and what your experience is. So sufficient detail in engaging in tasks, attention to the team's needs, look after us. That big difference there, not attention to my needs, attention to the team's needs. And so references to recognize authorities. So you need to constantly be referencing an authority here because they're thinking hierarchically. And so hierarchy needs to be referenced and adhered to. And if it's not adhered to, because it doesn't work, it needs to be well explained. And so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Is maintaining the status quo is important for this stage. Recognize, sorry, recognition for righteous decision is reward. Uh, that, that was a great decision you made there. Well done. And developmental focuses on skills and capabilities. The next stage, we're really seeing Joe here is in the orange stage of development. And this is where the big divide is really happening from. I would say that uh, Joe is probably late stage orange, um, probably moving just slightly into the next stage of development. Uh, and we'll see why as we go through these two stages. But this stage of development, third person is about objectivity. The previous two stages are about subjectivity. My subjectivity, and our subjectivity, what I believe and what we believe. That all dies here really with, with the orange stage of development. It's the, it's, the, it's the beginning of the death of belief structures. And so this stage will use belief structures if there's evidence to back and support them. Other than that, they will start to tear belief structures down. It's about independence, it's about people first. It's results oriented. This is about being logical, rational, measurable, about preparation. The other big thing in this stage of development is this stage of development can see into the future at to about five to 10 years. Amber stage of development can only see into the future for about three to six months. The red stage of development does not look into the future because it doesn't value it. It is, it is past and present only. Amber, the amber second person perspective, will go three to six months in advance because it, it only values that period of time. It doesn't value past then. That's why uh, uh, in, in environmentalists uh, don't uh, operate from that stage of development because they're looking 25, 35 years. That's the green or fourth person perspective stage of development to look that far into the future. And so then the fifth person teal perspective is an inter intergenerational view, which spans pre pre birth and post death. Um, whereas, whereas this stage of development is looking five to 10 years into the future. And we're really seeing that with Joe running, Joe is running uh, a, a, an eight year period. He reckons he's got eight years in him. He's, he's four to eight years in him. So that's how far he's looking. And so uh, this is about creating strategic outcomes. This is also about planning to win. So winning still very important to this stage of development or you lose, but it's about planning to win. And we're really hearing that rhetoric coming through uh, Biden at the moment with, with, we're not just sitting here on our hands, we're creating a plan for the future, a plan for when we take over. And that's what he's constantly been saying in the last day or two in the lead up to the calling of the election. Uh, which is today. Effectiveness and efficiency are key to this stage. And we're, you can hear that in, again in Biden's rhetoric. Measure everything for accuracy. And decisions are based on facts. They're not based on beliefs. They're based on measurable, rational, logical, res, you know, uh, 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 objective fact. So as we move then, we move into the next, the next stage in green in a moment. So, so how, how do I lead uh, orange individuals or teams? 
the best approach is right. So it's a very practical and pragmatic stage of development. And so they like practical and pragmatic outcomes. Reference my contribution or reward me. Yeah. And so we've gone from, and, and, and uh, uh, Terry O'Fallon calls the rocking chair effect. Uh, we've gone from first person, me, my, I, to second person, our, us. We've now rocked back into first person by transcending, including the community, uh, communion, communion uh, perspective of second person, into third person. It's back to me again. And so I, I want my contribution. Uh, uh, I, I want my contribution rewarded. I want it referenced. I want it acknowledged. And I want to be rewarded for it. Uh, let me identify the details and take ownership. So this is as, as you know, because it's, it's about independence. It's about a human being being uh, objectively independent. Hierarchy is useful, but rules are there to be broken. So I will work the hierarchy, but I will break down the hierarchy where I see it doesn't work. And so this, this stage is hated by the amber stage of development because of that, because it breaks down that hierarchical approach. Let's restructure for the best outcomes. Status and remunera remuneration is reward. So, so they want title at this stage of development. They want money at this stage of development. Developmental focus is on building self-confidence and self-esteem. We then move into the green stage of development. And you see I've got Jacinta Ardern there, who is at, you know, one of the few leaders worldwide who is at the green stage of development. And green is the most hated stage of development by both orange and amber. And you can add red to that as well. And then green is also the most judgmental of the others. And so, the, so, so green is where political correctness comes from that we're all equal, equality is everything, fairness is key, care is absolutely paramount, and sensitivity is the core drive. So this is called the systemic stage, where I start to care about much, much more than me. We rock forward again into the communion rather than, rather than back at the agency, into the communion mindset, having transcended and included first, second, third, and now into fourth. So we've rocked a couple of times backwards and forwards. And so this is about 12.5% uh, of the population. If we go back, we look, orange is where 35% of the population uh, exists. And the amber stage is where 35% of the population exists. Hence why you're seeing such a close election, because you've got this stage versus that stage. And then really uh, what's happening there is then this stage is what is tipping the balance. And we're really seeing that in America at the moment. This stage is moving across going, I don't care what you stand for. I cannot take your rhetoric anymore. I cannot stand for your beliefs anymore. They, they just don't make any logical self from an orange perspective. They certainly aren't helping society and they certainly are not sensitive to humanity. And so this stage of development is the difference that's making the difference that you're seeing as the election pushes over that, that, that precipice for Joe Biden. And so this is systems thinking. This is relationship first. It's actually anti-hierarchical. So this is the stage of development that starts to tear hierarchy apart and, and, and says, you know, hierarchies are, are, are disgusting. The, the, the one issue with that is hierarchy is what actually got uh, every human being who's gone into the green stage of development. It's played a part in getting them there. And so by actually uh, uh, now resisting hierarchy, they're actually holding humanity's development back, putting their foot, as Ken Wilber says, on the throat of humanity by saying, you know, all stages that came before that I've gone through aren't as good as this stage. And so this is the stage of development. Ken Wilber calls it mean green because it, ha it can have a real mean edge to it. A real, a real, you're not as good. You're, it's not okay for you to think and, and say what you want. And, and, and that's where political correctness comes in. And so, and so as we move then into the teal stage, the final 
stage for uh, this discussion. Just tips on leading green. So, uh, so really non-standard presentation is going to be required by green. Uh, reference our contribution and be inclusive. Our contribution, not mine, our contribution and be inclusive. Collaboration is key. We all need to take ownership. Decision making is collaborative partnering. Uh, hierarchy is distasteful. We are all equals. Uh, and that not in, only includes the human race, but every living being on, uh, on, the, on the planet has equal rights to me. Let's restructure for the whole, not just the part. And care and development is reward. I want you to care about me. I want to feel the love. And so development focuses on care for the whole and the environment. So we find, move into the final or teal stage of development, integral. Uh, Ken Wilbur uh, uh, really uh, called uh, Barack Obama uh, uh, perhaps our first ever teal uh, president. And, and for these reasons, and this is the, because, because Barrick was leaving green and moving into Teal when he was uh, president of the United States, uh, and that's according to Ken Wilber, uh, uh, really, you know, he was hated by the red and amber stages of development, absolutely despised, because they're, they're looking at his worldview through their worldview, and self-leadership doesn't make sense. Self-actualization is just a, a big word that means nothing. Self-management is, 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 well, of course I manage myself. And so it's, it's understood through their stage structure. Wholeness is irrelevant. I want to be considered. I want to be seen. My needs need to be met, not our needs. Uh, evolutionary purpose is ridiculous. Uh, unconditional uh, care, uh, you know, what does that even mean? Uh, simplicity, sure, I like simplicity. Integrative, I don't know what that means. I don't understand why you'd use that term. Holarchical, just it doesn't make sense. And, and disruption uh, is seen from a completely different perspective. And so disruption is that, that, that Donald Trump is disruptive. Whereas what Donald, Donald Trump is disrupting is disrupting the status quo of late stage amber, early stage orange, with his belief structures is he's not disrupting on behalf of reality he's not disrupting on behalf of creating a a a a, a, a more collective system it's a it's a disruption on 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 the part of the few not the whole not the many and so the teal stage of development was also called integral there's about four to five percent of the adult population in this stage over the next 20 years, we'll see that grow to about 10 to 15%. And so our children and our children's children will get to integral by the time they're probably about 50 or maybe even 40. Whereas integral, uh, it, you know, most of us don't get there. We don't get to the integral stage of development. Uh, our personality contracts and it begins contracting about the age of 55. Uh, our personality structure contracts and solidifies, and we begin to block out and hold ourselves back from our organic development at that stage. If we haven't minimum hit green by that stage, we're probably not going to. And so that's why the, the field of development, of human development, is the most important thing in our world. And so if you aren't actively developing yourself, then you are, you are going to contract in your later age. Your personality is going to grab you and pull you under. There's no two ways about it. For those who do engage in, in uh, 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 intentional evolution, intentional development, then, then you know, the teal stage is the first stage that actually integrates all the previous stages. So it sees the red voice and it sees the, the need for the eight year old's voice to be able to push back on the parent and say, you know what, I want to be an independent human being. Don't tell me what to do. Uh, we, uh, Teal can see that that worldview has some validity. It can also see that the amber worldview has validity. Uh, for example, in sports, uh, that they are an amber view. There are rules. Uh, amber is very rules driven. There are beliefs. Amber is very belief driven and and it is played within, you know, lines. It's black or white. Your foot's on the line or it's not on the line. 
and so and so uh, all sport is is actually uh, 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 one of the most powerful ways of expressing amber and so that's why it's so important for our kids to be able to play competitive sport because it's literally growing them into the amber structure beyond their self beyond their own you know the universe revolves around me to uh, actually it revolves around my team and my team's the better team and you're gonna you're gonna you know get some competition here we're gonna beat you and so uh, so teal sees that stage of development has some valid contribution to reality as well as the valued contribution of orange third person perspective it brings science with it it brings it brings uh, objectivity with it it brings uh, rationality with it and true to the green stage of development teal can see that that green is really uh, uh, quite in, in a moving kind of way the most sensitive and and the very very best of humanity applied to itself because i'm beyond me i am now on behalf of the planet i am now on behalf of standing up for gay people even though i'm not gay standing up for black lives matter even though i'm not black and so i will stand for things that are bigger than me and so so that's why greens so despised is because because they, they, they're not seen for taking a stand for what the earlier stages want them to take a stand for they're taking a stand for something bigger teals even bigger than that and so obama himself said i helped create donald trump and he did he did help create donald trump through his you know global view of the whole not just the part uh, facilitated uh, you know different stage structures becoming disenfranchised because they thought they'd been forgotten whereas what obama was doing was uh, well and truly going outside of the norm and realized that america needed to take a stand in the world which was greater than just in america and so the people in america uh, particularly the red amber stage structures felt as though they were forgotten and disenfranchised and hence when the voice of the Donald came forward, it became logical that I could then, I could then uh, uh, find this voice within myself, which was which was suppressed somewhat, and begin speaking it. I could begin, you know, uh, uh, bringing forward uh, my views on racism. I could begin bring, bringing my views forward on on what I believe on conspiracy theories and so on and so forth that had been suppressed down in, in in order to be a good citizen one didn't do that but when the Donald found that voice many people found that voice and so and so the disruption to the status quo that occurs from Teal is is actually disrupting things so that things combine and come together so that red can have its voice so that amber can have its voice so that orange and green can all have a voice so how do I help as someone in Teal how do I help the world heal how do I help integrate this 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 uh, ladder of consciousness together into one form one ladder and 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 that's the that's the role of teal so there we're done thank you very much for taking the time to listen uh, we'll be going much much deeper into this from a leadership perspective uh, in uh, uh, q1 of 2021 when we launch our integral leadership program uh, a world first our, inter our public integral leadership program which which will be a live online program over about four months and so it's learning how to it's going to be about learning how to lead from an integral perspective learning how to lead from first second third fourth and fifth person perspective learning how to integrate those perspectives and hold that view as as, as a permanent view of reality and not get caught or drawn into uh, in the content of any single stage, but see all of them. Um, and then and then how that promotes and facilitates right action and how it grows organizations up to their full potential. So look out for that. We'll be launching that in the next month or two. Have a look out for that. And so just to finish off, what we're seeing in the States and in the UK uh, and indeed here in Australia isn't the division of people is the division of stage structures that we're seeing. And so people are not their stage structures. They just think and make meaning through their stage structures. 
There is no single stage structure. And if you're sat there going, yes, there is a single stage structure, which is worse than all the others. There is no single stage structure that is worse than the others. They all have, they all have uh, something to offer. They all have something to give. And they all, ha they all have pathologies. I'm not going to go into the pathologies of each stage structure today. We do that when we get into integral, integral leadership. We'll show you the pathologies that each, including teal, including green, orange, etc., has in its, in its viewing of reality. And so these stage structures are how we make meaning. They're linked to our value systems. Our values change as we, as we evolve through stage structures. So be kind, be kind to yourself, be kind to other worldviews. Yeah, it's just a worldview. And so, and so stage structures, and this is really the, to honor the work of Ken Wilber, honor the work of Robert Keegan, honor the work of Abraham Maslow, and all those that came after Maslow was really one of the first to, to, to develop stage structures, uh, Jean Piaget, uh, and so, and so these, these pioneers really show us how becoming more and more and more human is where the answers to the complex problem of today lies. Thanks for watching.